Hello, good evening, and welcome. You've just entered the arena. I'm Michael Corrin. Whether you like it or not, and thank you for joining me. Now, uh, another story from the most important community in the history of the entire world. Gay people, of course. In, uh, in a small town in Ontario, a lesbian couple were allegedly asked to leave a Tim Hortons because there were complaints that they were acting in a way that was offensive to the families who were present. Now, offending gay people in any way is obviously a crime for which there is no punishment suitably nasty, so the media went into direct action. Uh, there was a Facebook site established, calls to protest the Tim Hortons, threatening phone calls made, the usual garbage. I watched some of the news coverage of this uh, on Global, for example. It was a lead item. Now, forget people dying in, what, Turkey, Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. Forget people losing their jobs or the, the daily suffering of working men and women in this economy. Forget it all because two lesbians in Blenheim, Ontario, were offended. Now, if you've seen these two women, you'll probably think, like me, and I mean no disrespect or rudeness, that there are any number of issues and problems here that go far beyond their sexuality. But leaving that aside leaving the ridiculous obsessions of the media aside, leaving aside the love that dare not speak its name and now won't shut the hell up, leaving the reality of, most of us just don't care, live your life and move on, please, aside, there's more to this story than we were led to believe. Now, the lesbian couple complained, and boy, did they complain that, that uh, it was a church minister who saw them, who complained to the manager about a held hand, a gentle kiss on the cheek, and that the minister's church youth group then prayed for their lesbian souls after they had left. Really? Well, the local... It's interesting. The local gay community say the minister and the church are very gay-friendly, and that the minister is being abused and his children being frightened, and that this is all just horribly unfair and unjust. We're now being told that the couple were, in fact, locking tongues and straddling each other with their hands down each other's pants. Oy, I'm sorry, I know you've just eaten... And that this is why they were told to leave. So uh, the so-called Christian youth group praying for souls were, we're now told, a, a group of local parents just discussing what had happened. So who is telling the truth? Well, call me unfair and all that, but I opt for the local gay leaders and Tim Hortons for any number of reasons. But you know what? This is entirely typical. The rush to judgment, the immediate condemnation, the neurotic fantasy of if it's gay, it's good, if it's good, it's gay. Nice, kind people have once again been persecuted. And no, I don't mean these troubled lesbians. I mean the people who work at Tim Hortons for minimum wage, the local people who just want to drink their coffee. Look, most of us believe in equality, tolerance and good manners. But a lot of us are also becoming sick and tired of single-issue obsessives moaning on and on about their contrived complaints. Move on, grow up and shut up. Oh, and bring me a Tim's. No, no, not double-double, just well... Uh, just straight.